This is a quick update. Uh, judge throws out lawsuit against Fox News over coronavirus case. So this case was about one of Fox News anchors. He made a comment about the coronavirus and relating it to Trump and it being a host, a hoax. But uh, Washington State Judge has tossed out a public interest lawsuit against Fox News claiming the network violated consumer protection laws by its coronavirus coverage. Let me skim through this. And they're stating a uh, broadcast violated the state consumer's protection laws by engaging in a campaign of deception. Right. An omission regarding the danger of the international proliferation of the novel coronavirus. Why do I keep calling it a novel? Also named in a lawsuit was Fox, was Fox Court. And so and so and so on. Let's continue. Judge Brian McDonald wrote that the public interest group's professed goal in this lawsuit to ensure that the public receives accurate information about the coronavirus COVID-19 is laudable. However, the means employed here, a consumer protection claim against a cable news channel, runs afoul of the protections of the First Amendment. In, in this motion to dismiss Fox News outline instances, let's continue. So yeah, um, he did not try to play the hoax down any. Watchlight attempted to silence a national news organization to settle a partisan grievance. This was not only wrong, but contemptuous of the foundation of free speech. And we are, I'm, I'm very pleased the courts dismissed this. Very pleased. Very pleased. This is a win. This is a win for free speech and free thinking. And one of the replies, Fox News said in a brief, the watchlight cannot hide that their assault on the First Amendment rests on a false portrayal of what Fox commentary actually said. Fortunately, in all events, the Constitution protects Fox speech, even accepting the complaints distortions. Alright, that's your update. What is this?